But before we get into any of this, there's breaking news at the top of the hour before I get into any of this. So it's not in the title, not in the description, not anything. But I saw this from the sword tour shortly before I went live. And it's probably going to blow some people's minds. Probably not, though, but we'll see how they kind of dictate this. So what we have here this is from Nick Sortor. And you'll read this right here. It's red alert breaking. He says, why did Judge Merchan leave out the part about mega crazies? Well, if you're not understanding what's currently going on, it turns out that this comment on Facebook came from a juror who was in the Trump trials. Now, before I actually go to this portion here, I'll go to the original one. I'll go back to the, to the first tweet. It says right here from Nick Sortor again. Just then, and I'll make it bigger for you. I forget that I have it uh, said a little wrong. How do I? Let me actually go like this. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. You see, Justin, Judge Merchant has just sent an email notifying both parties in Trump's case of a concerning comment on the New York court's Facebook page. It came from a supposed cousin of a juror. So I guess not the juror itself. So forgive me, I spoke wrong. Who celebrated the decision to convict a day before the actual conviction. This must be investigated. So apparently this is the... Uh, what Judge Merchan had notified all the parties of was this specific um, comment. But what we're finding out is it's more than just my cousin is a juror and says Trump is getting convicted. Thank you, folks, for all your hard work. Obviously implying just with this kind of simple comment here um, that there's bias being present, right? Um, and now the timing might be a bit, um, I don't believe I've, I've seen the timing of this, but obviously I would, it would imply that this person let their cousin know like, hey, Trump's getting convicted. Um, I, I think it just implies a specific bias and it, and it does need to be investigated. Now, however, you go to this bigger portion here, which is apparently the judge didn't give the full quote. And the full quote and the full comment starts with, thank you for all your hard, probably work, against the mega crazies. My cousin is a juror on Trump's criminal case and they're going to convict him tomorrow. So... Just in that statement, it's clear there is bias inside of the family. Now, I'm not sure how much that can extend to the juror themselves, like, right? Because obviously everybody in their family has people that has political views they don't align themselves with. Um, but I think it's the communication aspect, right? Like, and they're going to convict him tomorrow, according to her. That portion right there is like the juror let the, the cousin know ahead of time, possibly in a way to be like, like, hey, like we, we, we're doing what you want to do. And again, all of that implies bias. And at the very least, it has the appearance of having bias, which I think at the very least on something of this scale, this magnitude does require some level of investigation or, or at least an attempt at an appeal of a, of a retrial. And I don't think this goes back to one of the bigger points I had, which was like, I don't think you can have a fair trial in New York with Donald Trump. I just period. There's too many people who who know who he is. He's too big of a name. And especially in New York, of all places, we know what kind of Democrat stronghold that is. It doesn't bear well. It doesn't bode well. So that's the top of the hour breaking news. I have not dug into it. So I'm going to leave it at this. I'm not shocked. I'm not surprised. Again, before any of this happened, before we even had the convictions, I said there's no way he can get a fair trial. So I wasn't expecting it. And this isn't shocking. Um, I think this is this is this is status quo. Um, but it is kind of infuriating to see that, of course, there probably will be nothing that happens regarding this. I mean, if you can't even get the judge to recuse himself who donated to the opposition, I mean, what other, what, what, what really can you get out of that, right? They're clearly going to force it regardless. But to move off of this, we'll get back into the actual content of what I wanted to cover for today. So we're going to start with one of these stories from 